Alrighty guys, we are attempting a gnarly stealther this time. Check this out. Wow. Dream come true. A roundabout stealther. Okay, I have to sit somewhere and um, compute the situation. Because this roundabout is right outside of the train station and there are guards at the entrance. It's way too crowded right now, so I'm just gonna sit on a park bench and kinda take a breather because uh, this is gnarly. This situation is quite gnarly. Okay guys, so the location is quite crowded as you saw and I need to plan the entrance to my campsite of course because there are many people around but the people are not the most frightening um, aspect of the entrance the guards are and the guards are located right here these are the guards the entrance to the station, to the roundabout, I should say, is on this side, like this. Yeah, so this is the only entrance to the roundabout. Now the guards can see this is their like field of vision, like this. So I'm gonna have to time my entrance with the crowd so they will be busy with uh, checking the people who are coming into the station. Very smart, I know. Wow, look at this cat, living his life. <laughs> Scared him. So many cats, so many cats. Hello. He's too wary. I don't have food. Yeah, anyways, let's go buy food. So, I posted a question on what is the best meal to cook in a roundabout. And most of you said Sloppy Joe, but I don't think that's a good idea because Sloppy Joe is very smelly. Smells like beef and sauce and stuff. Someone recommended brutwurst or some uh, type of sausage, I'm not sure. Also smelly, smells like meat. But one of you geniuses recommended pilmeni. And it's been a while since I've eaten pilmeni. So let's go visit a Russian shop that sells pilmeni. So many cats, I love this place. This is heaven. <laughs> Anyways, got the pilmeni, got the beer. We are officially ready to sneak into the roundabout. The waiting game has begun. It's kind of hot. I do want to crack open a beer, 
but I'm not gonna do it because um, I am in a playground. That would look inappropriate if a grown man is sitting drinking beer in broad daylight in a playground. Okay, so a train just arrived. And um, I think I should use this opportunity to sneak in. But I'm kind of scared. It's so packed, guys. So I have been waiting for like 20 minutes. And... Perhaps there was a good window to sneak into the roundabout, but I didn't have the courage. This is scary stuff, man. What's up, man? You came to keep me company? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is a friendly cat. Finally a friendly cat. Okay, now's a good timing to go, but I have a cat on my lap. Что это твоя? Нет. Очень хороший. Да. Он сразу пришел, оп, сразу прыгнул. Окей, это было красиво, мой друг, но это время. Давай, давай. Он был в хорошей компании, но я думаю, что это хорошая открытие. Вау, мой сердце пьяный. Okay, so the people are off the train station. Now is my chance. Almost got ran over, cool. Try to act not suspicious. Wow, look at this cool plants and stuff. This was a very bad plan. I feel like people are watching. It just looks like I'm I'm still very visible. Do I just dip? Do I just crouch? Okay, no one's actually looking. To my surprise, so I'm just gonna Yeah, this was a stupid idea to go when there are people. I thought that I'm not going to be noticed because there is such a big crowd, but how can you not notice the guy who just crosses the road and almost gets ran over by a car and enters the roundabout? I'm not going to camp there because it's trashed. Fortunately, this looks like a good spot right here. I think this is where I go. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, this feels much safer, I have to say. Much safer. Oh no, someone pooped here, man. I'm gonna need to do some cleaning. But right now the priority is to lay low. I have to crawl for now because if I pop my head up too high, I am definitely visible. All right, the camp is poop free. And, uh, I 
think I'm gonna wait a bit before I set up my tarp. There are mosquitoes. Mosquito repellent time. Definitely visible from the windows. And I have to pee. This might be the first time I pee on my knees. That was an awkward peeing position, that's for sure. Um, so I thought about sending a tarp from the tree, but then I realized that the number is visible from the sidewalk. So I'm not so sure about the tarp. Maybe I'll just put the tarp on the floor and just um, cowboy camp it. Buses are kind of frightening, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm being scanned. But it's just my imagination, probably. Yeah, this is a nice spot. This is the best spot in this roundabout, at least. Quite a nice view, I have to say. The noise will eventually subside, of course, given that it's a train station roundabout and the trains don't run all night, luckily for me. Use the sound of the bus to crack this beer open. type of gnarly stealth camp has been a dream of mine for as long as this channel exists, basically. And it all started because of Steve Wallace. Steve, cheers. Thanks for um, sparking my spirit for adventure once again. This is nice. That is quite weird to say this, that this was a dream of mine sleeping in a roundabout. Between the trains it gets quiet and you can hear the crickets. This is a cool experience. So I sneaked a peek outside and got the number of a bus, just some bus, to check the lines and at what time it's gonna stop moving and it's gonna stop only at 12.30 and continue at 5 a.m. which is uh, quite bad news so I think that I'm gonna just start cooking, you know? waiting will not do any good let's cook this pilmeni in a stealthy way I hope it's not gonna be too loud because I can hear people at the bus station which is let me show you it's quite close to my camp yeah okay that is close Let's give it a test and see how loud it is. Oh, 
That's quite stealthy. Is it really running? Nice. It says to boil for five to seven minutes. Cool. 800 grams. Um, I'm definitely not going to finish 800 grams of pilmeni, but you know, challenge accepted. Cool. The Soviet culture has lots of dishes for what seems to be basically the same thing. And that is meat and dough. So this is basically dumplings. Wow, I forgot to buy sauce. Whoa. Oh, squeaky brakes, man. It's quite nice to hear this noise because I know that I'm not alone in like some wild forest with bears and stuff. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. All right guys, so the pilmeni are ready, but I forgot to buy sauce, which is a huge mistake. Like the biggest blunder I could do. Pilmeni with no sauce is like hamburger with no buns, basically. It's the same cat from before. What the? <laughs> <clears throat> well, you came to visit? Hey man, you want some pilmeni? This guy rules this territory. He's uh, smelling my pilmeni. Hey bro, I'll give you one. For real. Wah! Okay, I won't. Not right now. That's hot. I'll give this guy one dumpling, at least uh, just the meat, I'll eat the dough. Take. Come on, we are the roundabout boys, you can take some meat. It's very hot though, my friend. Super hot. I'll just, okay, this will be your bowl, okay, no problem. You can have, it's hot, but you can have it, it's yours, man. But you have to promise that you will keep me safe while they go and buy some sauce. Perfect. Okay, cats are cute and all, but they can be very cunning. So I will lock this bowl with this locking mechanism. All right. Now that my pilmeni are safe, it's time to go buy sauce. No way, there's another cat. What have I done? Oh no, this is bad. I won't finish all of this by myself, so might as well share it with some cats. And I've just realized that I'm a crazy person, stealth camping in a roundabout, talking to two cats and feeding them. 
outside of a train station. Life's good, man. You get the small one, you get the big one. Go ahead. I'm still on a mission to buy sauce for the Pilmeni. And there's a bus right outside to my entrance. Great. You know what? I got inside the roundabout through there. But I see that this could also be an entrance or an exit. And the best thing about this side is that there is no bus station. So let's go. Oh, there's a guy right there. There's another bus. Let's go through the bus station entrance. I look so suspicious, this is ridiculous. And there are people in the park. This is difficult. Okay, forget about it. Um, I'll take that exit. This one is obviously too crowded. Okay. God damn it. Okay, just act usual. This is intense. My heart is pumping. Okay, well, and we are out. Just walking on the sidewalk, no problem. Easy peasy. I've been walking on the sidewalk all along. Yes, guys, let's go buy that sauce. Alrighty, guys, the operation was a success. We got the sauce, and also I got these Snickers. Nice. Now we have to go back and crawl into our home. Home sweet home. The roundabout. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the buses to leave and then I'm gonna hop back in. And guys are running right beside me. I can't enter right now. Actually, this is difficult even at this hour. Perfect. The buses are leaving.
Still scary. We got the sauce for the pilmeni. It's time to eat. So the sauce I got is basically mayonnaise. The pilmeni were delicious. Obviously, I did not manage to eat the entire 800, 800 gram package, but I did get to like 900 grams, 700 grams of dumplings. So, right now, I think I'm gonna set up for sleep and wake up tomorrow quite early so I could, uh, you know, get out before it's too crowded. Man, the mosquitoes are vicious. And that mosquito repellent is bullshit. I can't sleep, not because of the noise of the train once in a while, but because of mosquitoes. It's um, roughly 2 a.m. I haven't slept. The mosquitoes are very aggressive, very vicious. The mosquito repellent is garbage. It does not repel. This is a sham. It's just nothing. It's just for the smell. It smells good. It smells like lemons and leaves. Cool, man. It's the last time I buy a natural mosquito repellent. There's no point. There's no point in this. Is this a baby cockroach? Oh, it's... Hey, here's another one. It looks like a baby cockroach. Oh. Yep, baby cockroaches. Cool. I'm watching YouTube videos about the collapse of China and stuff like that. I want to give a shout out to Matty Fox. Recently, he bought a new van and started a van life journey. He is basically building the thing from scratch, which is pretty cool to see. So if you guys want to check it out, go check it out right here over here. Okay, guys, I've napped. I've managed to get a wink or two. It's 5 a.m. I have a train in like an hour, but I would rather to just sit in the train station instead of uh, in a mosquito-infested roundabout. So let's back up. Okay, I got my trash, I got my stuff, now it's time to head out. I can see the guard outside, chilling. And now the problem is I am probably the only one around, so, oh and the cat. Plane is super cool, you know, 
I'll walk in the other direction as if I'm picking up trash or something. I'll approach the bus. Oh, and there's the friend of mine. What's up, man? Good morning. Hello. We've made it through the night. The first part of the stealth camp was much more fun, that's for sure. The mosquitoes were horrendous. So I'm just gonna wait for the train. I need my sneakers. My well-deserved sneakers. Guys, if you like this type of content, I urge you to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next adventure, guys.